Sam. So today I have a very exciting announcement. Some uh, some news that I just like, ah, I'm just so excited about because it's something that I've been wanting for so long. I am going to be partnering with Invisalign to be a Invisalign spokesperson for them. So I will be receiving complimentary services from Invisalign in exchange for sharing my treatment journey with all of you. I'm going to be doing like Invisalign vlog. So basically updating you guys with the progress of the treatment as I go, th go through it throughout the year. You know, letting you guys know so that you can see the difference and just kind of my experience as I'm doing it. So I have wanted to fix my teeth since they came in crooked, like literally almost my whole entire life. I think they started coming in crooked when I was like seven. It's been something that I've been, that has bothered me for so many years. And I've just kind of learned to be like, oh, okay, well, you know, I've got crooked teeth, I'll fix them one day. And I kept on saying that and then tomorrow I'll fix them, you know, I'll fix them next year, I'll fix them next year. And then that never came and then finally I was like, okay, that that's it. I'm getting my teeth fixed. I went and got a consultation and then just shortly after Invisalign actually contacted me and I was like what this is like insane that here I was gonna go out and do it for myself and then they actually wrote me and I was like wow this is like a beautiful thing. I'm telling you guys you need to ask the universe for things and remind yourself to ask for really good things because it, it's just amazing how it works like that. The reason I've wanted to get my teeth fixed is because obviously they're crooked. I mean, we all know they're crooked. I get comments probably daily or every other day saying, why don't you fix your teeth? Your, te your teeth are crooked. When I first started doing videos, it used to really bother me. I remember when I first got the first comment of your, I think they said like, your teeth are <laughs> messed up or something like that. And, um, it hurt my feelings like I actually cried for like a long time I was so upset about it and I was like oh my gosh this is the whole reason I didn't want to do videos was because of my teeth and even though people think oh it's just your teeth it gives you character it still hurts your feelings when people say like oh your teeth are crooked luckily like throughout the years of hearing it like every single day it's gotten to the point now where it's just like whatever I know they're crooked I look at them every day it doesn't bother me as much I can kind of just brush it off but it still makes me feel uncomfortable like I want to be able to be that person in that when a camera is out I can just instantly be like smile and like not feel self-conscious I don't want to be constantly worried like which angle oh my gosh please don't get this side of my face because that tooth is way more crooked than this side like this is my good side because this tooth stays in a little bit more uh, and it's just it's kind of just annoying to have to do that and and not feel like 100% comfortable with your smile and I know that there are a lot of people that are like but it gives you character like my grandma she says it gives me character and oh but your teeth are what make you you which yes it's true my teeth I was born this way it is what what I am but I want to be able to feel confident to smile and when I make my videos I don't want to have to worry like oh I'm gonna edit that piece out because that tooth looked crazy crooked in that in that moment you know I just want to be able to feel like yes I can make a huge big smile I'm not constantly looking at my teeth going oh and then also you know when you got teeth this crooked you get crazy bits stuck in them and it's like what like I'm always like worried when I go out to eat and I don't have Jay across from me like when I go on these trips no one's gonna be like, girl, you've got something in your teeth. Jay is my tooth lookout. He's always like, ooh, something in your tooth. Because they get, sne you know, they get sneaky. They go in little places because there's so many fun little crevices to hide in. So I am really, really excited to be able to just take a picture. Like, you'll probably notice all of my thumbnails, I'm always like, ooh, or hmm, or really like trying not to show my teeth because I just don't feel confident. I don't feel, I'm pretty confident with everything else, but I'm not so confident about my smile. I just don't want to show it off more than I have to. So I'm really excited for this opportunity because it's going to be able to give me the confidence that I can be like, ding, I have a beautiful smile and I'm going to smile on my thumbnail and everyone can look at my teeth. Um, so I'm very, very, very honored to have this opportunity to be a spokesperson for Invisalign. I hope I make them proud. I cannot wait to see the results. I cannot wait to see how it transforms my face. I keep on like trying to imagine like what I will look like with straight teeth. I don't even know. Like I don't I cannot even imagine what I will look like with straight teeth. I try to bite into a sandwich. Half the sandwich is like dragging because I don't have a bite. Like I can't bite because there's such a huge gap from here to here 
where if I want to like bite into a cucumber, that's random, but if I want to bite into a sandwich, it doesn't chomp. Like you can't just chomp into something. You have to like bite it and then kind of, uh, oh, oh, it's just, <laughs> it's just not romantic. It's not attractive when I'm trying to bite into a sandwich because nothing chomps properly. It just like falls into places and it doesn't get like a beautiful chomp little if you know what I mean. Not just aesthetically, like I'm I'm not just excited for me to be like, ooh, look at my teeth, they look, they look delightful, but to be able to just like, you know, eat corn on the cob or bite into a sandwich and have a perfect chomp line. Just things that people take for granted that you might not even think, but it's like for me, I'm like, gosh, that must be amazing to like be able to eat corn on the cob and like actually get a good bite or like an apple, you know, where like if I take a bite of an apple, it's like this tiny little piece. I'm like, well, I'll just cut it up, you know? To be able to get this Invisalign and feel more confident about my smile and I don't have to hear about people saying my teeth are crooked all the time, um, it's just like, you know, it'll feel really, really good. I'm very, very excited for this opportunity, so I have to say a big, huge thank you to Invisalign for this because this is like, I have been wanting this seriously for so long for it to actually happen and they're doing it for me and I get to share it with you guys and be their spokesperson is just it's just something I couldn't have even dreamed of. It's absolutely amazing. I'm so happy. So please stay tuned to follow me on my journey, my Invisalign journey. Um, I will be doing a consultation very, very soon. And I've got like a bunch of emotions. It's like weird, it's exciting, it's happy, it's nervous. I don't know what to expect, but I cannot wait for the result. I'm really gonna try and like, you know, keep a very good documentation of like how the how the teeth change over the time and you guys will all get to follow me along my journey i i want to do this for myself it's not for anyone else other than the fact that i want to feel better about my smile i remember an adult like a grown man it was one of my dad's friends said to me you know we were all sitting at lunch i'm just like eating my lunch minding my own business and he said you know you would be really beautiful if you fixed your teeth and i was like really i can't that is just, it like hurt my feelings so bad because I instantly thought, well, then I'm not pretty. So basically I could be pretty, but I'm not pretty because my teeth are crooked. And those little comments, you know, people think they're trying to be, they, they, they don't mean it meanly. People don't realize when they say, you know, you'd be beautiful if you lost weight or you'd be beautiful if you fixed your hair or, oh, you'd be beautiful if this, but those things aren't fixed and it hurts your feelings. And that was the first time that I was like, I... I'm tired of this. That comment really stuck with me and it really hurt my feelings. Just one sentence can stick with you for such a long time and I still remember it to this day and I think I was like 15. I mean, it was such a long time ago. So that for me was the moment that really kind of like changed my thinking and like being more self-conscious of my teeth. Sometimes I'm just like this or like if I'm talking to people, I'm like, oh, hi. And it's just like, you just instantly want to cover your teeth. Luckily mine are pretty white. So I've got that going for me. But um, you know, it is, it is something that is constantly in your mind and you don't even realize that you're doing things to kind of like shy away. Or like, I'll notice that when I smile, like when I first meet people, like probably I hope people don't think I'm being rude because I'm, I don't give like a big, huge, warm, welcoming smile. It's like, hi because i'm like oh gosh please don't look at my teeth i know that i immediately think like when i meet people for the first time the first thing i think of is oh my gosh they're looking at my teeth and i feel like that's all they're staring at and half the time people are like i i'm not even looking at your teeth like i'm looking at your eyes or i'm looking at your hair like there's a reason i do my hair with this big people because i don't want you to look at my teeth that is what i'm hoping for that is my end goal i'm really really excited i'm so excited to bite into a sandwich and be like chomp and it'll be like a perfect crisp cut and i'll be like see that sandwich I just ate that. Or like when you're trying to eat a burrito. Like I never ate burritos until I met Jay because I didn't even know how to like bite it. Mine would just always like disintegrate into a ball of beans and mess. It was just like, cause I couldn't get a good chomp. So <laughs> that's like so random. And people are probably like, what is she talking about? That is so weird. I've never had that problem, but trust me, it happens. Girls out there, if you feel me, let me know, comment below, tell me that you have that problem too. You cannot bite into a sandwich or a burrito without it going all over the place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that you're happy for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And for all of the people that are always like, oh, you're so beautiful. I think they give you character. I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot because for all of those negative comments that I get that are like, you need to fix your teeth. It's so nice when people are like, I think you're beautiful anyway. So I appreciate it. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you girls for always making me feel good. If you are new, please subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on 
Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, my blog, what else? SamSherman.com, Facebook, uh, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.